Hi, this is Rena at Embroidery Garden, and today I'm going to show you how to put multiples of a design in your hoop so that you're able to stitch them out, having each step stitch at once. I'm going to be using my free pumpkin sucker holder design for this tutorial that's available on Embroidery Garden's Facebook page at the moment, and Embird. So you're going to open up the design, click on Editor, it's going to open it up in the hoop size it was saved in. You can click on the hoop size icon and select the hoop size that you want to stitch out your multiples in. I'm going to select my brother 6x10 hoop. And on the right hand side you'll see a thumbnail of the design and the four steps that are in the design. But if you drop down to the bottom right corner you're going to see it says colors three slash four. This means that there are three colors used in the design and four steps. When you're stitching out in the hoop designs, it's very important that they stitch in a certain order. If the design, if when we put the multiples in the hoop and you go to the color sort feature, if you leave it as it is, the designs will all stitch the stem and then they will go to the last step, which is stitching the two pieces of felt together, which isn't going to work. So we're going to have to go up and we're going to right click on the color box at the end and change color. You can pick any color you want as long as it's not one of the colors already in the design. I'm just going to pick um, red. Click OK. So now it's changed the last color box to red. If you come back down to the bottom right corner, you're going to see now it says colors three, or excuse me, colors four slash four, which means there are four colors and four steps. And that's what we want. <clears throat> you can uh, click on the pumpkin design, move it up into the corner. You can right click on it and click duplicate move it over, leave enough room so that you're able to trim around the pumpkins when they're finished. You can uh, click and drag a box around both of these, right click, duplicate, bring these down, again leaving enough room, right click, duplicate, same thing again, and I think we have enough room to get one more down here, so I'm going to click on one of them, right click, duplicate, and put it right down here at the bottom. You can go back and select the pumpkins and move them around a little bit more if you want. Just get them in the hoop, like I said, so that you have enough room to trim around them. And then I always like to drag a box around all of them to select them all and center them in the hoop. When you look back on the right hand side, now you see the seven thumbnails of the pumpkin designs and all the colors in them. So while this is still selected, we're going to come up here to the color sort icon. It looks like a little hand. Click on that. Click OK. And now you'll see that the thumbnail has changed. It shows all seven pumpkins and four colors. And if you want to watch this stitch out in the simulator, you can see the first step is going to stitch all of the stems. The next step stitches the outline of the pumpkins. Then the third step will come back and stitch the faces. And then after the faces are all stitched, you're going to put another piece of felt that's as large as the hoop underneath the hoop and then stitch the last step, which will stitch the pumpkins together, the two pieces of felt together, and it will leave an opening at the top of the pumpkin and at the very bottom for the stick of the uh, sucker to come out. So, okay, we're going to close this. Now it's time to save it. File, save as, pick your format, click OK, and you want to give it a different name. Don't name it the same thing. Don't overwrite the original file. So I'm going to call it Pumpkin Sucker Holder 7, since I got 7 in the hoop, and then click Save. 
and click OK, and you're done. You're ready to stitch it out. Thanks.